efficient engineering. When we look at ePlan, we look at a couple of different tools that we can use. ePlan Cogineer, uh, Smart Wiring. We have different solutions for different industries. We can build control panels. One step that uh, we are looking at right now is how to build these panels. When we build the panels, of course, we have seen this endless loop that starts over every time I do a panel. I have to do some kitting. Kitting is what? Kitting is picking the parts. Uh, we already saw this in, the, in a different one. This is basically a good example where we put things together uh, from an initial inventory, we put build some kits, and going down to the assembly, we actually have every part ready. Now, the next step, of course, is the mechanical insulation. Now, what could we do on the mechanical insulation to help us? Um, looking back here, we'll look at Rital, we have Perforex. Perforex is the machine that helps us um, do the NC drilling, uh, all the holes that are required. Just looking at here a small video, you can see what Perforex can do for us. So, technically, machine that is made for the NC drilling of our backplate or our door. So at Rital, for instance, we, uh, we have these machines uh, in stock. And before we actually ship out a uh, surface, whether it's the door, the uh, side panel, or even the uh, backplate, we, uh, we go through this process here and we actually do the holes. Let's take a look at the machine, how this machine works. Fully automatic. It is fed uh, through ePlan. And I'll show you how ePlan actually can feed this machine. It picks up the right tool based on the hole size that was uh, ordered on the ePlan side. So for a 5 millimeter, 6 millimeter, whatever the sets of tools are. And it goes about and does exactly the hole where we want it. We can also have shapes uh, for HMIs or for climate systems. Everything is possible. So of course, this is done automatically, so no human interface, no errors, no dimensioning errors, nothing. I'm just going to stop this and go to ePlan and show you a bit how it actually worked out on ePlan. Of course, we all know this sheet here about how we create an ePlan drawing. So I'm going to go very quickly. Remember, we started our project here based on a project where we picked a project. We have a couple of options in Cogineer. We selected the options we wanted. We hit the Generate button, and this generated based on macros here it automatically put together our project. After the Cogineer came on, we have, of course, some schematic pages that come with all the info that we need. Now, from this point on here, we actually went and created our enclosure. So the enclosure is actually done inside a 3D environment here. So I'm looking at the 3D environment as we are right now here. Um, I'm looking at my enclosure number one, as you can see. The enclosure, of course, is provided by Rital. Uh, specifics like the mounting accessories. Uh, you can actually pick an accessory like this accessory here as a base. You just place it as an accessory. You don't even have to waste any time. It actually places it down there. But far more interesting is actually how we built it. We actually went and constructed here um, or a backplate, and as we built the backplate, you can see here, if I zoom in, we can see all the different holes that are directly punched in based on the material that I picked. So here is a certain din rail or a wire duct, and this sums up to quite a lot of small holes I have to do. So technically, if I go back into my e-plan and I look now uh, at my uh, mechanical insulation, what I'm interested in is here, of course, seeing what are these holes, and this is generated automatically with all the dimensioning. This is if you want to do them by hand, but just count them. One, two, three, four, it's a lot of holes. And if I run with a Perforex machine, here the machining can be done right away on a Perforex machine, as you saw on the video. So I directly jump over 
to the machine that we saw earlier and we punch the holes into it and this can be done automatically so I just right now eliminated pretty much my step number two which is the uh, fabrication the mechanical insulation of the uh, of, of the back plates any drill holes and whatever are then done automatically so step number two crossed or saved to most likely 85% of my time.